there's a lack of regulation in the beauty industry in the U.S. The biggest issue out of all of those is fragrance in that it's considered still a loophole. Um, it's considered a trade secret in the in the U.S. So basically, you can have up to 10,000 or so ingredients inside of the word fragrance. So if you go home and read pretty much any product you have on your shelf, um, usually from the conventional space, and it says fragrance or parfum on it, you have no idea what what's inside of that. So that can be thousands and thousands of ingredients, usually petroleum based ingredients, which again, like very harmful for the environment, but also like no good for us, right. but also tons and of also carcinogens. Petroleum is, is oil. Yeah. Let's, yeah, oh, yeah, Cause yeah. some people are like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah. whatever that means. Oh, like, yes. No. Yes. Petrochemicals. Yes. yes. I mean, there can be potential carcinogens in there. There can be tons of very, very harmful ingredients inside of that little word fragrance. So that's probably the most offensive out of all of them. Other ingredients that I would say to avoid, I mentioned before SLS, um, sodium laureth sulfate. So that's basically the ingredient that makes products um, foam and suds, mm -hmm. which is again, not necessary. That yes. probably came out of somebody from a great marketing program at a business school because it was basically created, I mean, decades ago by a company. Um, and then they made you think, okay, you need to have a big foamy sudsy experience to get yourself clean. But not only is that not true at all, but it's also drying your skin, potentially irritating your skin, and it's also been linked to all of those other things I said for long-term health issues. So, um, and it leads to, it potentially will create 1,4-dioxane. And so there's just, there's tons and tons of issues. So if you read an ingredient label, it should be fairly short and it should be fairly recognizable, right? That type of, it's the same thing as food. So exactly. I yeah. just think that instead of looking for ingredients to avoid, I would find brands and products and ingredients that you know you trust and that you know work well for your body specifically and just stick with them.